Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on You and Me. And sorry about that, I've got my cord in the way. And this is page three. So page three is a very simple page. This is from the 12 by 12 scrapbook pack. Um, we're gonna do a nice deep pocket here. This needs to go on the next page. So um, I decided to split this pattern right at the top of the rows. And as a result, I wound up with a four and three quarter by 10 and a half, four and three quarter by 10 and a half. And um, you're gonna score it on three edges and that's gonna be our pocket. And that's the only element on the page. Everything else is just designer paper. Let me double check, four, yeah. Four and three quarters. That's not right. It's four and a quarter. Four and a quarter by ten and a half. I need to trim a little off here. Four and a quarter. Okay. I'm just going to take a little slant off here because I've got a deeper margin on one side than the other. <clears throat> both. Let's pull in page two and let's see. So we could do this. Or this. Tough, tough decision. So I want to share with you the two inserts that I've already made. So there's this large insert and then a smaller one. So let's look and see what these look like inside the pocket. So that pulls this pattern back in. And then this goes on top of it. <clears throat> it's not going all the way down. There, so we see a little bit of the dots on top. This, this. So there's that. So this is the pattern I haven't pulled back in. And then there's this. I think this is it. Okay, that's what the plan was and that's what I'm gonna stick to. Although I like this side a lot too. So this is one of the cut-aparts 
uh, from the collection pack, not from, or from the scrapbook pack. And then um, I've added, uh, I had this strip left over from something else. I've added uh, this pattern and this. And then on this one, I had this scrap and I knew I wanted to pull this pattern back in. Um, I believe both of these are from the scrap book pack as well as this. So I made this large insert. This was a trim piece that I had left over. And I'm gonna leave this white for the time being because I need to finish the, uh, put uh, more of the pages together to see how much paper I have left over. So again, this is the cut apart that goes in here. So this, uh, from a size perspective, the insert is <clears throat> eight. So the bottom piece is eight by eight. The top piece is also eight. Yeah, also eight by eight. So it's two eight by eights. One of them gets scored at the half inch line and that's why you have a half inch exposed. So two eight by eights, one of them scored at half inch. Then you're gonna join them. And then this is just trimmed to fit the, the cut apart and then you're gonna add it to a six and three quarter panel. So this panel here is six and three quarters. And then this was trimmed to fit and add a half inch uh, for the hinge. So the hinge is actually on the card, but it could just be, you could just have this as your insert. You don't have to have it be a card, but I wanted the extra storage for photos. So there you go. There's page two, page three. I'll be back soon with page four.